Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use a developer tab in PowerPoint to create assessment questions. First of all, you need to bring the tab from File, Options, Customer Driven, and then you click on the developer. Say OK. Now we get it here. It's, it becomes part of PowerPoint. Now, uh, let's just uh, explore this, this tab. It has a lot of things, but right now I'll just talk about some of the things that you might need for assessment. So suppose you have a question like this one, write, a, write what you know about Yemen. This is like it's an essay question. So all I need is this text box. So I'll click on text box, draw it. Now this text box is ready for writing when you go to the show. But if you want to format it, then you can click on properties. And from here you select the the font size, the background color, the foreground color, uh, foreground color, etc., etc. So this is for formatting. Otherwise, it's ready. Uh, if you go here to the show, the student will be able to write the answer. So that's how you add an essay question. Let's see other other options now this text box you can use it for uh, in collecting data for inserting url and then you add some code uh, you can use it for so many things you can maybe uh, have it there and collect data from uh, google you might uh, have the browser in and students will collect the data and uh, summarize it in this box now another type of question that you might choose here we have what is the capital of Yemen this means we need an answer so here we have two buttons checkbox and radio button because if we have only one answer then we select this one we can draw and then write again suppose uh, the, the choices are three or four it doesn't matter now uh, this is ready to be selected but you need to change the caption uh, so what you need to do you go to uh, properties and here you type let's say sana that's for the first one and then you go to the next one you click on properties you, you change size and so on and so forth also you can change the font size as you like let's see anything you close this one again here properties let's say add. if you want to change the color you can also now this one what will happen if you are here if the student can select sana or he can select ties so only one choice is allowed if the question is like this one the second one which of the following cities are in Yemen then what you can do you can give them you can select this one checkbox so I'll draw one two so you can list as many as you can as, as you want three four five six seven now what what will happen here once you select you write the caption again sana maybe here you will uh, change another you will write let's say dubai here oops sorry here you will write caption three uh, now uh, there are two cities located in Yemen. So when the students go to the show, he will click on Sana and then on ABC. He can select more than one selection. Uh, on this side, only one selection is allowed at a time. Okay. For, so for the time being, uh, you can have, you can use these three buttons. This is for uh, text box. Now, if you want to give feedback let me show you suppose you have the same question here uh, let me copy 
go to the next slide. Suppose I have this question, what is the capital of human? So you want to give the student uh, feedback. F feedback for what he said. Let's say, draw the answers. Just suppose I have this one, 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 one choice for the correct answer and one choice for the wrong answer. Let me write the, the answer here. I will say Sana'a. And then for the wrong answer, I will answer I write, let's say, Thais. Now, uh, I want the student, when the student clicks on Sana'a, he gets like a feedback. Yes, good, you are right. So, what you do here, you click on view the code. I will write just message box and say yes. You are right. Anything you write between quotations will be your feedback. Close this one. The same here for the link answer, I will go to view co code. I can also copy this one if you like. MSG message box. Sorry. Dice is not the capital. Close the quotation. Now, let's see what will happen. So here, you find here, if the student clicks on Sana'a, he will get feedback. Yes, you are right. If he clicks on Taiz, he will get, sorry, Taiz is not the capital. And that's what happens with 